I do my welcome back to my channel guys before I start working on the Chevy please help me subscribe to my channel click that bell notification so every time I have a new video you guys will be updated but I'm working on a uh, 2018 Chevy Silverado uh, checking in light code is um, P015B which is a O2 sensor bank one sensor one now uh, this is permanent store and pending too now here you can see the uh, firing order for Chevy, 135, bank 1, 246, bank 2, this is the front of the vehicle. Maybe firing order is 135, 246, 246 is on the passenger, 135 is on the driver's side, bank, bank 1, bank 2, uh, sensor 1 is before the cat, sensor 2 is after the cat. Now let me show you, so this is on the uh, driver's side, bank 1. Sensor 1 is right here, sensor 2 is back here behind the cat, you can see. Let me focus the camera, there you go, sensor 2. So this is on uh, the right side, passenger side, uh, bank 2, uh, sensor 1, let me show you. Sensor 1 is up here, sensor 2 is back here. So for the uh, connector, for the uh, bank 1 sensor 1, 2 for the connector, what you're going to do is focus the camera what you're gonna do is press the uh, white lock press the white lock back and then press on it and pull the connector at the same time there you go and uh, for the uh, O2 I already broke the O2 loose already go got my o2 sensor out now this is my new o2 let me show you so this is the uh, part number for the o2 original from uh, GM you gotta use OEM for this one um, exactly the same thing everything connector is the same thing now you can see the uh, the old O2, you remember the code, it says went from lean to rich. So this is what rich looked like, too much fuel. And the O2 is completely black. It shouldn't be looking that bad. This is really bad. And I can see part of the hole is kind of like clogged. And the new one looks good. And then uh, remember to put anti-seize on the thread. So that way when you remove it, it's easier. Put it back. Now I got my new O2 in already. Just tighten it just a little bit. That's it. That's all you need for the uh, connector. Make sure you guys check the connector right here. Make sure the Y is not broken or ripped. Check the pin inside. Make sure it's not corroded or damaged. If it's good, reconnect it. There you go. Clicked. Lock the white white tap. That's good. Locked. I have the key on. I'm gonna show you the code one more time. There you go. That's the code for the O2. Now I'm gonna clear it. This one's very simple fix. Just an O2 sensor. There you go. Turn off. Turn it back on. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Just an O2 sensor replace. So if you guys are new to my channel, please help me subscribe. If you guys have any comment, question, comment down below. Ask me anything you want to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, I'm out. Later.